Okay, thanks for watching this short video. I thought I'd show a little experiment I did with the Tula mic and getting it to work as a USB plugged in device on an iPad. So most of the audio for this is not going to be very clear because I'm not using my Tula mic during the actual testing, uh, but I hope you do find this useful. Here's just another important note. Uh, the Tula website says you need to have an MFI certified cable or adapter in order to use the Tula mic on your iPhone or iPad. That's true, but it doesn't mean you can use any adapter. For example, the USB-C to lightning cable that Apple sells has an MFI chip, but it does not work for using the Tula mic. You need a media adapter, and I use the Apple USB 3 camera adapter. Now, why do I use the camera adapter? Because it really is just a USB adapter and it has the media components you need. The USB 3 version also has a lightning plug on the back so I can run power to my iPad at the same time. Okay, so I have my Tula mic. I have the Apple camera adapter. I have the USB cable to USB-C cable that came with my Tula mic. And I have my iPad. And so that's what we'll use. So here we go. Um, we're going to do this a uh, little bit of testing. I've put up a number of apps, my camera app, FaceTime, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, Messages, Voice Memos, which is a utility in iOS, I think 13 and above. And then down here on my uh, quick launch, I have iMovie. So let's, uh, let's go through these just one at a time. Camera. When I enable the camera and I change to video, You'll notice the mic light came on. And you can see even when I'm talking that the microphone is picking up my voice. So the Tula works with video based off the media cable. So that's great. We'll close out of there. You can see the light went back off. Let's do FaceTime. So I'm just gonna make a quick FaceTime call to my bride. We'll just do audio. And we can see Mike's not lit up. Hey there. Hey, so I'm just testing that microphone I told you about and it's not using the mic. So thanks for letting me call you. Talk to you later. Yeah, you sound like you're in a tunnel too. Yeah, the tool is a much better mic. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Okay. Yeah, love mm -hmm. you. Bye. Bye. So there you have it. Uh, FaceTime does not use the USB connected to a microphone. Okay, uh, let's try iMovie because I wanted to show that as well. So iMovie, I just put up a little video that I made with my drone and you notice the voice record over here. If I tap that, notice now my microphone is live and I can even see my preset volume. So I can use the, uh, the gain adjust and move that up. I kind of like just a little bit of yellow when I'm going. So that looks pretty good and I can record. The water is beautifully blue and the Tula mic is pretty cool too. The water is beautifully blue and the Tula mic is pretty cool too. All right, that's great. Okay, so the next up is Zoom. So let's try Zoom. And I'm just gonna um, not try to join a meeting, but uh, I'll just connect using internet audio and you can see the Tula microphone lights are on. And so yes, Zoom uses a microphone, an external USB connected microphone. So it works with the Tula. All right. And here's one other thing to notice. See the little microphone icon up here in the corner and the little yellow dot. So even though I'm not in Zoom on my screen right now, uh, Zoom is still running in the background and it's still recording me or it's still using the microphone. So I'll, uh, I'll close out of Zoom, and you can see those go away. That's great. Okay, the next up is Teams. So I'm gonna open up Teams, and probably the easiest way to see if the microphone is working or not is to simply open up a meeting, right? So here's a meeting, my mic is on, my video is on, I'll start the meeting. And I think you'll see that the microphone hasn't shown here. 
Um, I am, you can tell by the green dot up here that I am using the mic and I can mute it and I can unmute it. But the microphone that's being used by Teams is not using the USB connected mic. Uh, my Tula has stayed dim. So Teams does not use a USB connected microphone on your iPad. Okay, the next up is WebEx Meet. So I'm gonna tap that little button and we're just gonna start a meeting. And you can see here I'm in the meeting and my microphone is connected. You can see by the orange dot that my microphone is active, but my Tula is not active. So even if I unmute or if I switch to video, um, I could start my video. You can see now that the dot's gone green. Um, so I'm sharing my video, but again, the Tula mic is not lit up. So WebEx does not use a USB connected microphone. All right. You know, let's try Siri. So I'm just gonna push down my home button. All right, Siri is active. You can see the light up there, but the Tula mic is not lit. And now let's go into messages, because I think this is unique. So in messages, you could have a message you're sending back and forth. Um, if you type, if you wanna do a voice message, and that's with this little icon in the corner here. Voice messages use the microphone. So you can see now I'm talking and you can hear what I'm saying and it's going through the Tula. I'm talking and you can hear what I'm saying and it's going through the Tula. Uh, but if I try to use voice dictation, so I'll cancel out of that and I'll just tap here to get my keyboard and I use a little microphone button here. This voice dictation is not using the microphone. So there you have it. And lastly, I wanted to try this voice memos. Um, I, I think voice memos is kind of cute, um, but if I use it and I do want to record a new recording, it does use the microphone, so I am using my Tula mic right now. Isn't that great? And that recording will be saved, and I'd be able to play it back. Use the microphone, so I am using my Tula mic right now. Isn't that so, great? Uh, the voice memos does use a microphone. I have tried a couple other apps uh, that are voice apps, um, and they do as well. Um, but really, the the Fact of the matter is, it's kind of hit or miss. Um, I gotta hand it to Zoom out of these three conferencing apps. Zoom is going to use that to a microphone or whatever USB plugged microphone you have. Uh, that's a huge advantage in my opinion. I would love for Teams and WebEx to get up to that point. Um, uh, but that in, in the scheme of things is about as far as I would go. Uh, FaceTime, obviously very simple not to. Siri, and voice dictation, it, whether it's in messages or an email or wherever you want to use that little microphone on the keyboard, uh, just not going to do it for you. Um, but uh, the Tula mic through this USB plug is pretty nice when you're doing recordings on your camera or voiceovers in iMovie. Um, the, it's all just really good for that. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.